Eva Eckert here, No Excuses Ladies, episode number 18. And if this is your first time showing up and looking at this page or being here with me on other social media platforms, I just want to give you a quick intro of what is the No Excuses Ladies like. Well, the No Excuses really started a long time ago when when we were coaching in our peak physique multi locations that's where we were preaching all about the no excuses uh, really mindset but since i've watched the world in the past few months and i've realized it's the same thing ongoing trend is showing up and ladies need to step up their game so why not to have their own exclusive network called No Excuses Ladies, because we all well connect to each other. So I thought that this is a perfect time to do this. So today, episode number 18. And what is really No Excuses Weekly Show? No Excuses Weekly Show, it's for all of you ladies out there who are looking to learn the No Excuses way of life, starting with your wellness, starting with your health, so you can succeed, move the needle forward with necessary tools provided. Because let's remember that this is the foundation. The health and wellness is the foundation to move forward. The No Excuses Tribe is for all of the, all of you out there, all of the badass ladies out there. And for those of you who want to become a badass, because I believe that all of you have it. I'm here to help you, to guide you, to lead you step by step to your full potential. And I will teach you, support you, and guide you, and help you to create the self-belief power, discipline, self-motivation, and mastermind alliance. So you can make the no excuses and mindset and make a difference in today's world. This is what really the no excuses ladies is all about. We discuss different topics. Every single week is something different. And I know that you're going to find some valuable lessons. I've been a coach for so many years, coaching clients in their m mindset, nutrition, and now nowadays, the days we move to the next level. That's what we do because mindset is everything. Mindset set up and propel us to do all these great things in life, right? So today's uh, episode will be all about feeling stuck and how not to quit right? All the necessary steps that I can show you so you can evaluate your life and see what are the mistakes that you're making, how I can pr approach life from a little bit different perspective. And I wanted to say thank you for all of you who will be showing up, watching this video, replaying it on YouTube and other social medias, because this is the fact that you're showing up. So my appreciation to you. Thank you so much for spending your time. And I know that life is very busy and you finding the time to show up and really, really do this. So, so think about it like this March. March is a well known month. It's been studies been done about March that it's a month of quitting. And today is March 31st. And I figured this is the perfect show for us to really step up our game, being challenged, and move to the next level. So think about last year. Think about March and last year. That's when everything starts going, hello, Marilla, when, when we start seeing the changes due to, obviously, we know what was going on in the world for so long, right? We don't even say this, this thing. We don't even need to discuss it. We know what was going on. So go back in your memories how March was in 2020 for you. Do you really know exactly what happened? First are the New Year's resolutions every year, right? Everybody always have these great goals, these great dreams. And March comes and everybody are on the borderline of quitting, stopping. Either is, no matter what that is, and in fitness and nutrition, it's the main thing that people had these big dreams of losing weight, changing their life, starting businesses, and March comes and everybody just hit that moment that they quit. So why I wanted to really discuss this, because I believe that 2021 can be significant year for you, can be different. What I want for you is to be different year. Maybe after what we've been through in 2020, this should be a different year for you. But let's, let's, let's think about it. How is this year right now for you? 
what is happening in your life right now this is very important to do that work guys i know that sometimes people say oh you know it's it's so much preaching it's so much journaling it's 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 taking time to do this in order for us to move forward in life we need to do this we need to do the self feedback and look into a day into a week into a month so what is going on in your life are you on the borderline are you feeling stuck like maybe in your in your mindset in your nutrition whatever that might be there there is something that might be going on but look if you not congratulations high five guys Jovic. that's what i always do in my sessions in my workouts you doing fantastic then share with us then what you did differently than last year because think about it everybody we see this even in, in in fitness right now this trend again it's it's happening it's always that march because think about it how this year was we we had such a high expectations of this year it's going to be so different because we went through a crazy stuff in 2020 we had more expectations than ever in this year and little or no change happened everybody were expecting this so you might feel uh, literally burned out right now or overwhelmed still you were waiting for this big dramatic change coming and nothing happened it actually is worse than it was for some uh, obviously countries and some states and that's what caused you that significant stress that can be one thing right but there are other factors and we're going to discuss this more deeply so how we can make this year better by learning the tools to unstuck ourselves and knowing what's happening what is, that stuck goes first and then it's the quitting so what are the tools there's always solution to a problem think about it there is always something that can help us uh, with situation with problematic situation and let me tell you uh, that would be awesome if you guys would share as you guys logging in share something share because remember posting it out there sharing with someone will not will create also like a community people will see oh i am not alone hello fabi the other person is going through the same thing what i'm going through right now it, it, it will create some connection that's one thing but then you're not gonna be feeling like you are only one and also people will give you the 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 tools as well so think you are not alone so write it down are there anything in life right now that you're feeling stuck what is it because let me tell you i'm going to give you an example how many times i felt stuck in my life and i hello donna and i know that so many of you had these situations so why i wanted to point this out because i want you to write down right now if you can listen to me because multitasking is not recommended ever but by listening to me writing it down the moments of your life feeling stuck so let me tell you i'm gonna i have a list literally here so i wouldn't forget about this let's go back to my early ages early early stage early age when i was 20 that's over 20 years ago when i was studying physical education in poland and that's my field, physical education. I studied for five years. I got my master's degree in phys ed. That was absolutely my dream. Uh, it's been always my dream. That's that that that's that's the field that I've been with, and I am so thankful for it that I found the golden goose on my way, right? But that's what I tune into myself, and I knew it that this is the the way for me to do it. But it wasn't always that easy. Let me tell you. It, it, if you don't know how the universities in Poland in Eastern Europe work, this is so much different than education here uh, in US. So uh, I had to pass the exam of, of running through a very high hurdles. They were pretty high. So we were doing all kinds of sports and I had to pass that a particular exam. But why I had to pass in the a, in a, in a first place when all my colleagues already did that? Because uh, I, 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 I had an accident when skiing on our one of the winter sports that we were doing and I torn my ligaments so I couldn't do it at the right time so I had to study and do this so let me tell you passing through these cells this was something like athletics it was some always something hard for me I was never a fast runner I was better in long distances and now these things 
higher than my knee level. This was just bizarre. So how I'm going to jump over this? What is this coach trying, to, asking me for me to do the split in, in, in freaking, <laughs> hi Eliana. That comes the 21. Hugs and kisses. Um, and, and uh, what if he wants me to do, jump over these freaking crazy things. And I felt stuck for four months. This was, I believe, this was, I think, my first first year, I believe. And I was on the borderline of quitting. This was my dream to finish this university. And I thought that this thing will break me. When I think about it, I have tears in my eyes. Because it always goes back, guys, to this feeling of, uh, in, like, feeling ho hopeless. Helpless. I was feeling like, how am I going to do this? I was after recovery with this leg. The leg did not want to work as I wanted to. And I knew it that the time is rushing and I have to do this. Four months. So first thing, what, and I'm going to tell you how I overcame and what are the tools to do this. So that was one thing. Number two, I was not expected. I was not accepted. We'll be watching, but I'm driving. Okay, got it. Uh, and I'm going to go back how I went about it, okay? So you have an idea. I was not accepted immediately uh, when I wanted to come to U.S. Because I was looking for all these ways to come. And the first way was for me to become a Yanni and fly over here. And let me tell you, I did the whole project and the organization didn't accept me. But the fact that they told me no... I did not take it completely to myself. I said, okay, fine. They tell me no, but I'm going to search and I'm going to tell you how I go about it. So there are things in life and situations in life that you're going to get stuck. That was another thing. There's plenty of things that we get stuck in life. So many that sometimes we take them for granted. And why I wanted to tell you is because you're going to see that when you look at them and you overcome them, they, you were like laughing at this. You're like, how silly I was that I did that, right? That I felt even that this is the end. You know, uh, the professor at my university, when I flew back in between my, my, uh, my time here in America, I flew back to finish my university because I had one year to finish. And he told me, no, he said, I am not taking you in. You're not going to pass these exams. And I was willing to study for three to four months so I can pass the exam, so I can join my team, my group that I spent four years. So I could finish this five years, graduate with them. Think about it. Graduation, this is big. He told me no. I felt broken. I felt uh, helpless. I felt like I had a hole in my heart. I felt like the whole world was ending. And I know that you felt like this so many times. That's how it felt. And, and, and I, I, and you feel stuck, but I tell you that there is a solution. There is always a solution, but I'm going to give you the tools. So stick with me because I'm going to give you the tools, what you need to do. A few months ago, I was building a whole campaign, a marketing campaign. Steve was always the one that was doing that. I asked him, he said, I will not help you. I am too busy. You got to figure it out. F-I-O. Three months, four months, stuck. Starting from scratch, had to learn integrations, things, and other things. It was just bizarre. Uh, you know, I'm not very computer savvy. I do what I do, but I don't go like crazy. It is, I can figure it out. But this was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Stuck again. Like stuck. Like think about it. So many times you are stuck in life. Starting peak physique. When we started peak in, in uh, you know, we started peak. You can go on YouTube channel and see these damn old videos. Donna, your husband, Joe, was running with us in the, in the, in, in, in Mawa, you know, in that park right there. Yes. We were going, we were doing boot camp when Spartan didn't ex even exist. I, you know, I, we, we had such a great idea to do boot camps outside. I wish we would have thought on a big scale like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, think big. Think such unrealistic dreams that it's going to scare the shit out of you. Sorry, I'm cursing. Scared. scared. Be scared so much that you created this vision. Because 
That means that your mind is freaking working. Yes. We were doing these boot camps. You know, we started so early, but then we figured out we're going to do, we're all going to open our facility because we have so many people. We can't keep on driving to these clients. It's a waste of time. You got to be sufficient. You can't just waste your time, not meaning waste, but if you have 10 clients and you drive around, it becomes 20 hours instead of 10. You got to think, you got to calculate, you got to look. So we said, okay, we're going to open up Peak Physique. Four months behind rent, $6,000 a month. How is that? Sounds good, right? Feeling stuck again. Had a great idea. And remember, there is no parents, no grandparents, no, no one to help me. I am from a different country. I had my money saved because I busted my ass. I worked three jobs. And I was saving, saving, saving. I had a mission. So stuck again. Look how many times. So write it down. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. You got you to gotta do this. Don't I say yes? Yes, Joe was running around like a crazy maniac with the uh, uh, with the barrel and and medicine balls. When we look at those videos, this is crazy. Twenty years ago, I was twenty years old. Look, post pregnancy surgeries, two surgeries, C sections, and then I had a hernia repair surgery. And promising doctors were saying, you know, you're gonna be fine after six weeks. And I wasn't, I wasn't, it took me a year. I couldn't do flutter kicks for a year. And I felt that I would never work out again. Me working out, uh, Eliana, I'm not scaring you. This is not, uh, nothing to do with you right now. <laughs> you are me so fine. But I, I had two C-sections and it, recovery was hard. And then I developed hernia. And none of these doctors told me ever what I had. I had to research on my own, figure out what I have. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And nobody told me. And I, I, you know, then I had to do the surgery and I couldn't lift my leg for a year. But I never ever gave up. I keep on going and I tell you what I did. So... You know, weight loss wasn't easy, but it was, but it wasn't because I lost the weight quickly. And then we developed the whole program of, um, of the weight loss. And that's how I started doing certain things and, and helped us and helped our, our clients, right? You know, and think about last year, 2020. So many of you felt stuck because of the outside world spin around you and we felt like we being controlled by the outside world, right? Because there were restrictions and, and peak, we, we had to close down all the doors to peak. But again, I'm going to give you a solution what we did. So it, we didn't give up. And, and Fabi is saying, because you are a fighter, not a camper, not a quitter. <laughs> Thank you. And, but I believe that all of us have it, just the direction and, and, the, and the solutions and knowing what to do with this. This is very important. You know, I, and I'm going to give you the tools, so stick with me. Uh, you know, felt stuck uh, during COVID, right? We all felt stuck like this. We closed down the physical location, moved online immediately. My mom was stuck in the U.S. for so many months. And I will show you what we did. So how we can get unstuck. And I could give you more ideas, more examples, but it's not about this because this is going to be endless. I could probably write a book, the things that I got stuck on. Really. really when you think about it, like life is just, life is not a straight line. It's just have these things like this, right? It just happens. That's what it is. That's how we learn. That's how we overcome. That's how we build our confidence. Each time you cross over a mountain, your confidence is going up. Remember that. So how not to quit, quit right? Because one, remember, feeling stuck is that one way, if you're not going to overcome this and work this through, the first step, the next step will quit. And then you're going to feel worse than ever. There are things in life that we need to finish and like close. 
but not take it as quit, right? That's a different thing. I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about it when you should continue, but you are not. You, you're, you, you being, um, you not evaluate the situation enough and you're going to know what the tools are, how to go about it. So I will demonstrate really the implementation for you. This is something that you can do this each time. So number one, look for options. What are the options in a situation? When I would coach clients that wanted to lose the weight, we were always looking for options. That's why we always make sure to measure the day, know how you eat, teach you what are carbs, you know, uh, protein, fats. We track you down every single day. We give you an idea how to eat and then we look for options if you get stuck so we can see what was done in order for, for, to give you a different direction. So this is like a, you know, health and fitness. Look for options. In fitness also, like if you don't like the program that you are in, switch to another program. There are always an option. That's why like in our application, we have clips that you can follow and there is a timer and you hear this or you can follow along or you can go online. There are options, right? What about option with the scheduling? Like, okay, AM, you don't like it, do it PM. Option. Like, Think about the, the, the exam that I wanted to, uh, to pass. What I did, I actually should give you another one besides options. So it actually makes all, all sense. Support. Support is what you need. So option is number one. Support is number two. Think about community. People that can understand you, that will cheer you up, that will raise you to the next level. How not to feel unstuck. Support is so important because if you don't have a support, it's hard for you to overcome the obstacle and not feeling stuck, right? Hiring a coach, talking to someone, having a body that you work out, hiring a coach that will coach you, that will guide you, that will lead you to the next level. But never ever, really, my suggestion, leads to those who you know that are not supportive of you. Don't do it. You know why? Because if your self-esteem is already low, if you are already feeling tight enough because you feel stuck and then you go to the person that you're going to bring more doubt into you, don't do it. Eliminate them. You can have conversations even with your, sometimes your loved ones, people that love you and, and they love you. They are your family. But there are certain things that you cannot discuss with them because they have their own fears. They are stuck themselves. And now they're going to put the feeling of them stuck on you and you double suck. And then you just wrap around with some freaking crazy stuff. No, don't do it. I know you gotta go. Don't do it. Only look for support that people will be like, point things out. Feedback is good. Listen, don't get me wrong. You need the feedback. But there is difference between feedback and different between manipulation, uh, you know, passive aggressive and twisting you and always looking for bad stuff. That's a different story. Different. And you got to eliminate that. Control what, what's controllable. Because outside the world just keeps on going. The world, the nature has its own rhythm. Own rhythm. But you have your own rhythm. Yes, live with nature. Live with peace. But you are your own captain of your own ship. Remember that. You can control how you get up in the morning, if you hit the snooze button or you don't, how you eat, how is your nutrition, if you work out or you don't, how you schedule your day, if you're good to people, if you're thankful, if you're nice, if you're loving, if you're caring, if you give a service to people, it's up to you. The outside world can stop you. Re remember that too. That whatever is going on through our lives right now, there's so much going on that you have no control over it. Like, think about it. What is uncontrollable in your life right now? Think about it. Like, think. Think. that, that Do I worry what, kind, you know, what president is running the country? No, I'm doing my own thing. If COVID shut down my location, I'm still doing my thing. It's not going to stop me to lead people 
in their nutrition and their workouts. It's not going to stop me. Their social media, I will go on. It's okay. I will figure it out. Recognize self-limiting beliefs. It sits in you. When you get stuck, immediately that self-esteem goes low. You start doubting yourself and you need to bring yourself back up and say, you know what? I will do it. I can do it. Get up in the morning, write down on the window, on the mirror, whatever there is. Set up a reminder on your phone. When you get up, I will do it. I, ha I will have a great day. Yes, all of the world will try to flatten you out. We'll go. Keep, keep our focus. Yes. Because think of this. That's why when I started, when I was saying, you know, the 2020 brought such an unexpected change in our life, the world flipped back. Like, think about it. We almost live on the other, uh, uh, like, in the other world. This world is n not the same. The, 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 the globe is spinning, but it's so different now, right? But think about the experiences that we've had in 2020. Some of the experiences, some of the things were very bad for people. But if you're not going to work this through, these experiences will be with you and can impact your decisions in your life. So if they were very bad experiences, think about all these experiences that we've had. Like just the other day, I was thinking, you know, how the fear is that one of the first things that appears in us and and immediately when you start thinking, oh my God, I was scared like this with something. Uh, this The same feeling, feeling came years ago when I was supposed to do this. It stays in, with us. This, this experience that wasn't maybe that good comes immediately when something is similar and you live with the same thing, but this is a different thing, right? A uh, simple example, when I had this accident on, uh, on the slopes, when I fell and my ski stayed and my leg was twisted the other direction, twisted the other direction with the ski. I got up, adrenaline is high, and I don't feel a pain. I get up and I am like, the coach is like, that was like so many years ago. The coach is like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. She's like, can you ski down? I had a, I had a pain when I fell. But I looked around, there was no bone sticking out, no blood, so I think I'm ready to go. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, going down the slope, this freaking high mountain, and the leg is loose. And she asked me halfway through if I need help. And I was so, I wanted to get down. I knew that something is wrong. The leg was loose. When you pull a ligament, your leg doesn't stay in place. If you pull the ones that are on the back of your knee, the leg will go backwards, but I had the inner one, so the leg was just loose side to side, flipping, flipping like this. I went down, and that's when the whole thing started. The nurse went out, I, I felt it, and they had to take me to the hospital, right? So this experience was bad, so look what happens. I am on a slope, how many years after? 12 years later. My friend, let's go. I said, okay. When I stood on the snow, my heart was beating. I felt nervous. The same nerves came from that bad experience. And I said, you know what? I've trained for many years. My leg is strong. Never felt pain after. I know that I can do it. And I did it. And I went and it was safe. And when the snow turned into ice, I said, now it's the time stop and get off but I did it I overcame that fear right so we gotta look into those so like I told you before that I'm gonna give you the ideas you know the the, the exam with the hurdles like I told you I was looking for options what can I do how who I can turn for support now you see how it makes sense so I asked my friends who are studying Lepco athletics because we obviously physical um, education we had Lepco uh, people that are were, were extremely good in in sports and they were you know really amazing people uh, and and they would be able to help you so that wasn't my strong thing so I asked for help they were trained they were helping me it took four months but I did it so support, I was looking for options. 
how else I can do this, right? And the other option was starting training on the low one and go into the high one. That's how we started. And the, the self-limiting beliefs, I had to work with that too. So those are the points that I wanted to give you. You know, when I, got not, when I was not accepted to, uh, as a nanny to a USA so many years later, again, this didn't stop me from going forward. I looked for my options. I, because I wanted to do it so bad, life bring, brought me people in my life that helped me to get there. There are always options. And, but I still was looking for other companies to do that, but I couldn't find them. But at least the research, right? The research that we need to do and, and the support and the fact that I believed in myself that I can do it. That's when it all starts. You got to believe. You got to listen to your heart that this is the right thing for you guys. Because a lot of times mm, you don't. And the support... The fact that you're looking for options, the support is all good. That's, you know, control what's, uh, what's controllable and leave the other things behind. But I, I think everything starts from your here. When that self-belief, that factor, that is that drive inside of you that I cannot give up. And so many of you, I know that are stuck right now. That so many of you wanted to give up your weight loss goal, which really we shouldn't be calling even a weight loss. And the reason for it is because you're losing something. How about flipping that other way and say, I will gain mastery of my discipline. I will gain mastery of my nutrition. I will gain mastery of being so strong and powerful. Flipping this the other way instead of thinking weight loss. So if you suck right now and you think this is the same thing that I've been going through March last year, the same thing, after setting up my goals, I'm in the same spot. What you need to do? You need to hire a coach, find a better option for yourself to um, either, like if, you, if you've been sticking to your diet, you can't do a diet anymore. Diets will not work. You need to find a healthy lifestyle. That's what Peak Physique also provides you and you can send me a message and I will, and I will guide you towards the right thing. So th that's when it comes to nutrition, right? You need to find better options for your food. The support will be your coach. The self-belief you're going to learn. You're going to learn through doing the diligent every single day. You're going to practice every single day what you want it to do. Every single day. It's going to be on your calendar. And that's will, that will help you. Right? And... Really, write down what I wanted to about, to, what I am about to tell you. Those are really, really important things, I believe, and you should answer those questions for yourself. Why do I need to take care of this right now? Why do I need to take care of this right now? This can be, hi, John, this can be, health, this can be nutrition, this can be workout, this can be, you know, project at work, something that you started. Why do you need to take care of this right now? Why this is so important to me? How does stuck makes me feel? What are the things that you feel when you feel stuck? Maybe frustrated, maybe angry. How am I towards others? Because there is another factor. When you feel stuck, like think about it, when you cannot lose weight, it's not only affecting you, it's affecting everybody around you. Because you're angry at yourself and you're angry with others. It's that, that blame factor that they, but they have nothing to do with this. It's up, it's you, it's you. But we have a tendency always when something is wrong with us, we kind of go into others, right? So evaluate this, write this down. How am I in towards others when I feel helpless, when I feel stuck? Because those are all these emotions and write them down and you're going to see this on a piece of paper. What's on a piece of paper? It's better. Guys, this is well-known fact. When you write things, it's in front of you. You can have thoughts, but it's different. You have a thought, you go to the bathroom, you forgot about it. Our mind goes in trillions different directions. It's crazy busy. Write it down. 
what are the consequences? If I quit, you write yourself, you ask yourself the question. If I quit starting the business, if I quit, uh, if I quit planning, continuing with the healthy lifestyle that I chose, what would my life look like if I unstuck myself? If I move forward instead of quitting? Those are the questions that I put it together for you so you can evaluate yourself. This is so important. Listen, guys, when I do coaching one-on-one, -on -one, we do a lot of, obviously, we, everybody have a daily debrief, but we discuss a lot of different things weekly. And uh, we kind of go deep because understanding these things and, and pointing in those things, it will lead you the right direction. So answer those questions for yourself because there is always a solution. Now, when you're gonna do this, actually, when you're gonna create your own list of things that you felt like you were stuck in your life, write this down. Remember, this was in the beginning of the video. It will show you that this is not the first time that you felt stuck, that this is another way, you know, it's gonna be a thousand stucks in our life. Hi, Chess. It will be thousand things that we're going to feel stuck. It will be. It's not the first time, not the last time. It will show you that going extra mile will be rewarding. Because you're going to feel like this. Like if I, let me tell you, and look how the life is. If I get given up in all these um, points that I gave you, um, you know, trying to pass the exam, trying to um, get to U.S., you know, being accepted. Uh, if we give enough on peak, I would, uh, the, the life would never be what I am right now. I would have never impacted 25,000 people. I would have never had two locations in New York. We would have never been here in California doing project, uh, Steve would never be doing the project. I would never be coaching people right now. I would never have this right now. I don't think so. And if I, it started back then. So sometimes these obstacles are connected because if I didn't finish my university, I don't think that I would have been here. These obstacles somehow connect to each other. You gotta overcome them. That's connection of the puzzles in your life. I'm telling you this right now. The life, sometimes these obstacles are being shown to you to prove, okay, are you a quitter or you a winner? Are you the hero or you are the victim in your life? And trust me, it feels better to be a hero than a victim. When you're going to do all your 100% going extra mile, you're going to feel amazing. When you quit, you're not. And it's not going to build any confidence in you. So you got to do this. You got to do this. It will also show you how you're acting towards others when you make that list. Because the, the people around you uh, are being impacted by you feeling stuck, feeling angry, feeling resentful, feeling helpless. You know, it... it the people around you are, are, are affected by it. And you need to understand this. This is very, very important. So those are very important parts, guys. It's really such a big subject to talk about. But I can finish this and tell you this. If you feel stuck, write it down. What is exactly that you're feeling stuck? And there is nothing wrong. I mean, obviously, some people don't want to share this. But it will demonstrate to others that it's not only one problem. There is so many problems like this to, to, that's happening to people all around us, but we don't know this and we forget. So many people right now struggling with weight. So many people struggling with weight loss. Exactly the same time at the same moment. So your, your goal should be to 
never go back to what you felt in March last year when you were thinking you're gonna give up on your goals. You, you just need to keep pushing forward and I guarantee you this will bring you results. And again, if you need help with anything, please let us know. OTD, please let me know. The Operate to Dominate, it's, it's an amazing program that will set your mind, body, and help you with your business because we've done it, we, we've opened and run several of our businesses and we can give you amazing ideas and lead you in the right direction, starting with really the foundation of health and your wellness. Because, you know, you might have a lot of, there's so many influencers out there in this world today and a lot of people preach about the business and how to start the business. We were even, you know, witnesses, uh, uh, witnessing really when when there was um, workshops going on to how to run businesses, but nobody never told them that, you know, these overweight CEOs, nobody never told them how to eat and how to exercise. So how you can build an empire when you don't have this together? You can't. Because what's the point of building an empire when you're unhealthy? When you, 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 you can't even have an energy to play with your kids or your grandkids. What's the point? What is the point? The point in life is to have a happy, healthy life that you can service others by servicing others. If you have kids, grandkids, that's your service when you're with them, when you're happy with them, when you play with them. And then you can live your legacy to them, right? When you build that wealth, this is so awesome. Eliana, I see it is here. Thank you so much, Eliana. I see it's even more. Thank you, thank you. I see this in the comments. So, so guys, reach out if we if we i have to tell you we had coaching we've done coaching for our business for many years we've learned to have a coach there's always someone that will take you to the next level now we can do it to others right and that's how it is you take the service and you give the service away you learn something and you give it away my knowledge without me sharing is what am I going to do with this? What am I going to take this? I need to share it. But in order to give it to someone, someone needs to take it, right? So reach out. You need, you need support in your health and wellness. Some people, some of my clients will just do one thing. They just want the nutrition, the health. Fine. You can work out. We will teach you. But everything is the foundation of the, of the mind. It's like the workouts will never stay there. If, if your mind is not working properly, if you're not going to learn the tools there, right? And the same with business. Some people just want business. Some people want just mind and body. Some people want it all together. It's there. It's available. Reach out. Amazing, amazing program that we have put it together for entrepreneurs, leaders, uh, you know, uh, men, women. People that just wanted to start. I have people that are just starting right now. They just wanted to have something on their own and they're just starting. But they don't know where to start. We've been in that road. We started literally from ground zero, having absolutely nothing. The only thing that we had was our knowledge. That's it. Was our knowledge and we built up from there. But we were never, well, in the beginning, I have to tell you, we had to work on our minds too. Because sometimes you feel, you know, you know it all, but you don't. So you need, you need to follow someone. You need to follow someone. That person knows. That person gives you the idea. Especially the people that have done it. Those are the people to look up to, right? The people that have done it. Hi, fam. They will be the one that will give you, like, it's better off to do this than trying to sometimes try to figure out on your own. It's going to spend so much time waste your energy instead of asking someone for support and help you know so that's something that you should invest definitely send me a message we can guide you and lead you to the next level thank you so much guys this is like an honor to be here to talk to you and share with you when you guys sent me messages really amazing thank you so much because you know this is free show i do this every week 
I cover all these different subjects with, with really one intention in mind. To help you. To guide you. To show you, you know, and give you the examples. That's what I've been doing. I give you an example from my life. And I think that is the, it resonates with so many people. But also, I need your input. I need you guys here to, to, to share. To share. Because when we do those discussions, that's the best time to share. And, and it makes you feel connected, right? And then when you do that, you're like, okay, it's, it, it brings some cool, cool thoughts into your life and ideas. That's what it's all about. So anyway, we'll finish that show. It's been like an hour. Oh boy, I can talk. <laughs> anyway, uh, Aliana, I see Pam, I see John. <laughs> You've been busy, no excuses. Donna, hold on. I want I don't want to like miss you guys. Chas, Fabi left. Oh yes, I see you guys. Elena, 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 Eliana, Merrill. Okay. Thank you so much. I know some of you are logging in, some of you are leaving, but do that work. Do that work. That's what it's all about. And, and, up. Apply this stuff because we do so much every week and so many of you just listen, listen, listen. Take, take, take. Listen this, listen this and you feel stuck from being oversaturated on an information. Right? And you don't know what to do with it. So you got to take it in and apply. Take it in and apply. And you got to really look. Okay, this is good, this is not. I got to take it in and do it. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have an awesome Wednesday. Tomorrow is free boxing. So join us at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be boxing. And join me, of course, on Friday. I will post what time uh, there is an upcoming session. You join me live with some part of the session. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you. Have a no excuses day.